Introduction to Hot Patching Using ADOP Utility Until release 12.1.3, we used to apply patches using a utility called as add patch, which used to be more or less like a single logical operation. Whereas from release 12.2, a new utility has been introduced, which is called as ADOP or add online patching, which is more or less like a patching cycle rather than a single patching operation. The biggest change that ADOP brings on to the table is a feature what you call as hot patching, which allows the patching to be applied simultaneously while the users are online. It kind of cuts down the downtime of the system and hence it avoids people to log out from your system while you are applying the patches. Now more about that feature we would learn a little bit later plus I will also demonstrate you how to go about applying patching using ADOP utility while the system is up and running. Now the hot patching consists of a number of steps. So let's understand what all it consists of. The first thing that you have got to do is you've got to make a copy of the code which is from the running system that resides in both file system and the database. The patches are applied to this copy of the running system while the user continue to access the running system. Now the running system is also called as a run addition and the copy that you have made of the running system is called as a patch addition. The copy now becomes the running system. So as soon as you apply a patch and the patch cycle completes, then you release the new patch addition as the running addition. In other words, the patch addition now becomes the new running system. And so what happens to the original running system is that it becomes obsolete and it can be recycled for future patching cycle. So that's how the hot patching cycle goes about using ADOP utility. So while understanding this hot patching, we have come across a couple of new things. For instance, something called as an addition and something called as a clone of running system, which is also called as a patch addition. So how does it really work in terms of the server? What happens is these two addition run simultaneously together. So for them to really run simultaneously together, they are a copy of each other. So the entire file system gets copied into the patch addition and which is what you call as dual file system in terms of the entire application server. So what's a dual file system? This is a new feature introduced in release 12.2, which has got an architecture which enables the online patching using ADOP utility. Now, if you recall a little while ago, we have installed release 12.2.0 instance using rapid install. And while installing under the application tire setup, we have given the specifications of not just the application user, but also the file system associated in the application tire. If you look closely, we gave the file system one base directory, then we gave the file system two base directory, we gave the instance directory for both the file system. So these are, in other words, the file system which would be used in the running system as run file system and patch file system simultaneously while the users are working on the run file system. In other words, the dual file system allows replacing files with minimal downtime and improves high application availability to the end users. The dual file system also allows you the flexibility to specify different ports for your file system. So if you go further in the rapid install. This is where we specified different ports as you could see file system one and then file system two. So essentially it helps you to free up your ports for your running file system and you can provide custom ports according to your server configuration for the patch file system and vice versa. So it 
gives you a tremendous flexibility if you are running different application tire nodes on your Oracle eBusiness Suite system. In terms of the architecture of the entire eBusiness Suite, it remains pretty much the same, but now you've got a dual file system kind of an architecture. So everything remains same as far as the file system is concerned, but you will have a copy of each of the install top, your application top, your Fusion middleware home and so on. So if you look at the end-to-end -end architecture, this is how it looks like. You've got your application tire right here, but in terms of dual file system behind the scenes in terms of the file system directory structure, you've got a copy of this entire file system as a clone of each other, one of which is called as your run file system, the second one is called as a patch file system, and as you keep completing your patch cycle, they keep swapping with each other as you go along. So that's the concept of run and patch file system while you're using the ADOP utility. Another concept that we have come across is something called as a run addition or patch addition which works in conjunction with these file systems. So let's understand what really meant by the addition. An addition is a new concept which means a copy of the application code. So when you come to application tire, the running application executes on the run addition whereas any patching activity takes place on the patch addition. The patch file system is the is either being patched or awaiting the start of the next online patching cycle. In other words, the two file system swap roles with every online patching cycle. So once you have completed applying the patches using ADOP utility on the patch file system, then that patch file system becomes the run file system once you have completed your patching cycle. When it comes to the database tire, the patch addition only comes into existence during a patching cycle and becomes the new run addition at the end of the cycle, which is pretty much same as the application tire. The former database run addition or the old addition and the obsolete objects it contains are now discarded at the end of patching file system and the space reclaimed during the cleanup phase. So unlike the application tire wherein they keep swapping with each other in the database tire, the previous run system gets discarded and the new file system becomes your run file system. So now that we understood the concept of ADOP utility, let's proceed ahead and understand the complete ADOP patching lifecycle. So what does it really include? So it consists of essentially five major steps, including preparation of patches, application of patches, finalization, cutover, and cleanup. When it comes to preparation, as soon as you launch the prepare phase of ADOP patching cycle, then the system makes a copy from run file system into the patch file system. Then when you start executing the apply phase of ADOP utility, then it starts applying one or more patches depending on how many patches you are applying using ADOP. It executes the patch driver files to apply the patches onto your application tire or database tire. Then in the finalize phase, you go and compile the invalid objects which could have potentially come while you're applying the patches and generate all the derived objects. And once you have completed the finalize phase, then you go to the cutover phase. But before you go to the cutover phase, the entire phases of preparation, application and finalization happens while your users are online. In cutover phase, you basically brings down your production system and then you kind of swap your patch file system to be your run file system. So in other words, the time which would have spent preparing, applying and finalizing the patch lifecycle has been cut down since the users 
were online during this time so the actual time wherein you are bringing down the system is mainly in the cutover phase and as you would see this is what happens in cutover phase you simply shut down the production application you perform the maintenance operations and then you configure the patch addition file system to be your new run addition file system then you configure the patch addition of database to be your new run addition for your database then you start your applications on the patch copy which is obviously the new run file system and once that's over you simply go ahead and execute the last phase of cleanup using ADOP utility which will remove all the obsolete objects from run file addition and then send the data to the recover space so that basically completes your ADOP phase and at the end of your ADOP life cycle you will have a copy of your old run file system which will become your next patching file system as far as application tire is concerned whereas your old run system in database tire will be discarded all right so that's ADOP patching so let's proceed ahead now and understand a little bit more in terms of ADOP features what it brings along to the table and we'll understand a little bit more about the nitty gritties of ADOP then we will start the demonstration of ADOP by applying a couple of uh, post release 12.2.0 installation database and application tire patchings using this utility